Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Squat Cobbler, your drop shipping destination. That joke will make sense in a few minutes. I'm Dr. Mike at Official Pagan on Everything, and joining me as always. Don't have your mouth right. Check you can't cash, Mike. <laughs> but we'll see how it works out if, any, if all of this comes together. Hi, I'm Kelly at K E L L Y T H L on Twitter and Instagram, and we would greatly appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, comment. Turn on notifications, buy t-shirts, uh, and um, that's enough. Just that. No, that, face tattoos with our logo. That's it, how you have to do it. Yeah, if that's a bonus. Bonus points for that. So glad you're back. We're glad to be back. And we've got a fun one tonight, don't we? We do. Uh, so, Kelly, are you a soldier boy guy? Um, I wasn't until I realized he was going to become my Atari overlord. And we all know. <laughs> that that I am in, you know, my entire investment portfolio is now in Atari tokens. So, as Atari, I would, love, I would have loved to have been there when you called up your accountant and was like, "Put it all in Atari tokens." Uh, he was like, "Are you having a stroke currently?" And I said, "Do you realize the change in power that's about to occur to Atari? <laughs> We're getting in at the ground floor." There's no way he could have known what was coming. None of us knew that this was coming. This was this was a miracle. Christmas miracle. Is, they have installed, according to one person, the Caligula of the gaming industry in power. <laughs> yeah. yeah. According to the person who says he's installed. <laughs> yeah. According to just that one person. That one person is Soldier Boy Tellum, the rapper who I bet you didn't know was a rapper or don't remember, who had one gigantic hit because he trolled a bunch of people. So this is actually kind of a cool story. And I didn't know this. Somebody pointed this out to me. Uh, so a few years ago, he was entangled in a controversy regarding retro games. Uh, he was taking drop ship <laughs> AliExpress um, unnamed gaming systems, putting slapping his logo on them and selling them as new game consoles. And they were just, you know, Raspberry Pis and in, in housing kind of things. He was selling them as a game console that he developed at a gigantic markup, complete installed with ROMs, uh, saying that he had licensed those from Nintendo and Sega and things like that. And of course, they were very quick to step up and say, that is not true. <laughs> this person did not <laughs> license these from us. Um, I found out around that time, though, because I knew he had like a big hit song and at for a very brief moment was a thing in music. Um, the way that that happened, which I didn't know, was he, um, when prior to legal streaming, when file sharing was really hitting its peak with Napster and LimeWire and things like that, and the various torrent sites, uh, he was uploading his songs under the names of popular pop and rap songs at the time. So that people thinking they were downloading those songs would download his song and inadvertently hear his music, <laughs> which helped him gain a fan base. That's actually kind of smart. So I do respect that. <laughs> but he, he was setting himself up as sort of a, a trolling like figure from the beginning, in my opinion doing something like that. And then the whole drop shipping debacle. Uh, from my understanding too, many of many, if not all of the people who ordered any of his systems never even received them of the people who did. But that didn't stop him from gaining what he says is a sale of his gaming company for $140 million, I believe is what he claimed. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that, that would have been a good number to see in the contract we eventually saw. <laughs> it was to actually yeah. seen that figure. Then he says that, you know, from his masterful moves in the gaming industry, uh, creating his own consoles and then selling off that console business for $140 million, uh, he, he got the attention of Atari, who were so proud of him, his word, proud of him, <laughs> that they basically begged him to buy their company and become the new CEO to take them into the future and find a new direction, as one would expect. I mean, I don't understand why other companies, not out, even outside of the gaming world, how have other companies not jumped on the opportunity that is Soldier Boy? Right. 
I mean, he's the Mitch Trubisky of CEOs, which I know means nothing to you, but I was gonna say that. Yeah. it doesn't mean anything. But the sports fans out there, we'll get a, there. Chuckle, <laughs> get a chuckle, get a chuckle out of there. Um, hard to believe he was available, <laughs> but um, yeah. So how he's been sitting on the bench uh, until now uh, was a shocker. Uh, was even a bigger shocker uh, was when Atari uh, tweeted back to him. <laughs> Uh, kind of explaining, well, actually, no, you're not the CEO. This guy's the CEO, uh, which he wasn't very happy about. No, he did not take that well no. <laughs> and posted a long ranting video calling them all kinds of names that ends with, and it is important to note that this did get a lot of attention, him announcing himself as the owner and CEO of Atari which seems really unlikely because their IPs are split, be split between multiple companies, which is how you're seeing all these licensed Atari products, officially licensed Atari products that are, are seemingly everywhere all of a sudden. That's why, because their IPs were sold off at various points. So I'm not saying he couldn't license things from Atari or even buy one of these many puzzle pieces that makes up the whole that is Atari. Um, but it seemed really unlikely he would be the CEO of Atari. Uh, and that was not lost on people. Immediately, people were mocking him online <laughs> that yeah. he's clearly not the CEO of Atari. They made that post, um, didn't directly address him, but it, it named their CEO. They're like, being CEO of Atari is a great job. This is the guy who has the job. Yeah. <laughs> um, clearly directed at, at his comments. Uh, so he he made a long, profane, ranting video about how terrible they are, and then showed his contract that he has with Atari as proof, holds up his his contract. You get to see a little bit of it. And uh, Kelly, you come from a business background. <laughs> uh, did you see anything on there that would name him as the CEO and owner uh, of Atari? No, I I think um, you know actually mentioning uh, the role of CEO as a responsibility would have been one of the things. I would have been looking for in that cut subtleties like that. You would have um, looked for the ter the phrasing of CEO. CEO, the actual, yeah, the actual letter <laughs> CEO. Or um, owner, any of yeah. those things. <laughs> yeah, those would have been some of the triggers I would have looked for. It's a subtlety, but I, I would have I would have looked for those. I'm and if I'm not mistaken too, the uh what it was was a marketing uh, cross marketing contract. So this idea of hey, you know, let's kind of work together, promote, promote each other kind of deal. Um, which I can't imagine is going to, uh, because he signed that. I'm not sure they're going to be super excited about him uh, being there, uh, doing a lot of co-marking for him. I'm sure he's not going to be particularly inclined to. So that that's going to be interesting. But if I'm not mistaken, too, uh, he, like me, is ahead of the curve. And I believe uh, the payment for services was going to be in Atari tokens. That is true. So <laughs> he's outstanding. Yeah, he did, um... <laughs> so, there's a thing that happens now where you can pay or or at least ask people if you know them <laughs> but you can the way you market a lot of things now especially in entertainment is you get influencers to use and publicly use your product and post that on social media encouraging their followers to do so and to a large degree that works um, I would never do anything like that I mean just ask Vanilla Ice who <laughs> Well, it's the Ice Man kicking like Jackie Chan. It's time to take a stand. I got something to say, man. What is it? Hey, this just in. That's a situation. What's popping off? I'm going to tell you what it is. Ready? The Rust Belt. You didn't think I knew anything about that, did you? The Rust Belt. Got a new single coming out. Check it out. Get it how you live it. All right? Never forget. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. <laughs> But we know Vanilla, so it's okay. But you can contact somebody who you don't know. And I'm sure for a certain amount of money, they would be willing to do that. In Soldier Boy's case, he didn't understand this, but he agreed <laughs> to start using and promoting Atari tokens in exchange for payment of Atari tokens. So he is, <laughs> he is not taking U.S. currency as payment. He doesn't own the company or anything, for that matter, other than Atari tokens. And it's contingent upon, at least in the pages that were available in his video, it's contingent upon him directly increasing the value of Atari tokens, how much he gets paid. 
which is not off to a great start. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, probably think. not. Now, ironically, I would say he probably has brought a lot of attention to Atari yeah. in the past few days. So, yeah, and I bet you uh, there are a lot of people uh, because you know our reach isn't quite what it needs to be yet here at Squat Cobbler, but we've talked about Atari tokens on Squat Cobbler. Yeah, uh, but but not a lot of other people have, <laughs> and so. Uh, so there is probably a greater uh, in the you know cryptocurrency world. I would say probably Atari token awareness is on the low side, uh, and so you know this this certainly helps that. And I guess I could see his confusion. That, you know, if he's going to get tokens that say Atari on it. I guess you know I might feel like I own the company too. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> he's an interesting fella. It's, it's odd, and um, one of the videos that I shared with you, which I'm sure we can, you know, it's there, um, <laughs> that video, um, and I'm sorry that I don't remember the, the YouTuber's name. I've seen a lot of his videos, though. It's great stuff. Um, he pointed out, you know, it's, it almost seems hard to believe that somebody who, regardless of what you think of his music, is somebody who operates within the music industry, and again, whatever you think of his weird drop shipping game business, has a business that exists <laughs> you know what i mean like he's seen contracts before right, right? <laughs> yeah yeah and 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 this this is not you know a minor misunderstanding of, oh wait there were some terms and conditions at the end that you know i didn't anticipate or was kind of nestled down there in the fine print this, yeah, is, this is not a fine print this guys. is a <laughs> tremendous misread <laughs> this, yeah this is uh you know reading the hobbit and giving uh the the story of great expectations you know it's just it's not it's not a match so yeah it's it's a unfathomable lack of understanding of what was happening so there in my opinion there's a couple things that are could be happening here and i wanted to get your feedback on this the first one is does he understand what it really is? And in his mind, he's now doing his job and generating awareness of Atari tokens. Because again, he does kind of troll the internet and yeah. things like that. That is kind of his thing. So is there a chance he fully understands what he's doing and this is his marketing strategy? So, so, that's, so that's an excellent question. Because um, I do think it comes down on he's either remarkably clever or <laughs> remarkably not clever you know yes. he, he is on was, one of two of, is it the extreme opposite <laughs> it's one of these two things either <laughs> yeah. he, he reads a, a marketing contract and interprets it to mean i'm now ceo and actually believes that or he goes oh my i get i only get i only get stuff if i raise the uh the value of uh, Atari tokens and the way you're going to do that is to get attention and buzz and people looking at it, increase awareness, all that good stuff. Um, I think about it, you know, that so crazy like a fox kind of thing could be. Um, uh, so, you know, and if that's the case, props to him. Well played. We're talking about it. A lot of other people are talking about it. Yeah, a lot of people, are, more people are talking about Atari tokens now than have since their announcement. Oh, yeah. Where people are talking about Atari, which was kind of one of his points in the in the rant, <laughs> was you know you were you were not top of mind in the public uh, ethos until uh, until I showed up on the scene, uh, and so he certainly has created a buzz. Uh, so we'll see. So yeah, I I I don't know. Having you know not having. Uh, a ton of experience in seeing how Soldier Boy takes things apart and kind of his his critical thinking process. Um, I, I don't know, but you got to think, you know, someone who's kind of craft and the crafty kind of, yeah, this is my gaming console system and uh, to some of his earlier, earlier songs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you got to, you got to, you got to at least give some consideration that this may be he's doing exactly what he thinks he needs to do to make money, which is like super smart and well played. Yeah, I mean, so to that end, again, like Kelly and I have already said, there wasn't many people talking about Atari tokens. Now there is. There's articles all over and tons of YouTube videos of people commenting. We're commenting on it right now. 
So there, there's people all over talking about this. So Atari tokens are getting a lot of visibility right now that they didn't have a few days ago before he announced he bought Atari <laughs> after selling his his gaming company, air quotes, for $140 million. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's a possibility. The other side of that is he has no business sense whatsoever <laughs> signed a contract that he completely didn't understand and that maybe the success that he had was because he had that one smart idea with the file sharing service and has been kind of coasting off of that for a while now. Yeah. Yeah, and there's not a lot of middle ground. <laughs> it's kind of it's yeah. kind of one of those two. I think no. it's one or the other. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So it's hard to say. But I think the the important thing is, you know, it's unfortunate to see the disagreement and the conflict occurring. Uh, but it certainly looks to me as if Atari is gonna be, you know, out of luck or in 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 search of a new marketing partner. Uh, you know, I'd like to take a moment to to offer to Atari, Squat Cobbler remains available <laughs> to, to be your uh, Atari token bitch. We'll do, do whatever you want us to do <laughs> to talk about how awesome it is. Uh, we will not try and claim uh, ownership of the company. Um, Unless you want us to. Yeah, if, if you do, because <laughs> you see the kind of craftiness that we can come up with, we will sell you our T-shirt empire <laughs> and you can... Uh, <laughs> We're way yeah. less than one hundred and forty million dollars. Yeah, easily. We'll, we will. We barely will. over. Yeah, we'll just. We might. We might even just round it. Even hundred million. Hundred uh, million done. Yeah. So it's that. That's you know we negotiable. We can talk about that. Uh, but we're available. Uh, happy to to uh, to do that. Uh, and uh, I think that's that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> That'd be good, especially like. Uh, we could, I mean, we could always use an influx of cash. Anybody could, regardless of whatever stature you're at. You could always use more. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Money does, in fact, buy happiness. If you don't think so, it's because you haven't had enough money to buy happiness yet. And <laughs> I found out this week that... The <laughs> I found out this week that the house where I recorded my first EP for Pagan is going up for sale. And it was offered to me first. So for $1.3 million. So I would love to pick that up for sentimental value. And Atari, you can make that happen. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll, we'll, we'll paint a big Atari token on the side of the house. Yeah. There'll be a giant Atari symbol on the house. Just rotating yeah. a big vein. We'll, do, <laughs> I'll, uh, we'll bust out our pool here and replace it with an Atari token-shaped pool. <laughs> we'll do, <laughs> do anything you want. So, see Atari, this can all be yours. That's right. It's your your move. <laughs> you know, at this point, we've we made it clear. Well, anything else you have to add to that, sir? Uh, nope, not for date. That we'll just have to kind of keep watching how this develops. I think it's fascinating to know which end of the continuum uh, he's at. <laughs> on which, one, which one are you pulling for? I, so I'm pulling for that. He's just super smart and is playing playing everybody. Because I always like. Uh, you know, I like people to be kind of clever and pull some stuff like this off. I think that would be my my uh, much more preferred result. Same here. I, I genuinely am rooting for him. Um, I don't like his music, not even a little bit. I'm not even going to try and pretend or, or, or be diplomatic about it. He has no talent as a musician. But clearly, I, I do think he knows how to market himself, even if that's trolling. So I hope that's what this is. Um, and if it is, and he does, you know, some of those, those token exchange numbers on there, like if it hits a certain value, he gets a million tokens. If it hits this next value, he gets 5 million tokens. So, I mean, that could be pretty substantial in the long run. If he's able to generate enough to really get it moving, who knows? So yep. that could be great. That could be Frank Ocean level of <laughs> trolling people. That's right. So that would be amazing. So I, I hope for his sake, that's what it is. I don't know that I 100% believe that, but I hope for his sake that that's what it is. And I would love to see that just because I think that's that's fun. Yep, absolutely. I, you know, I always like it when someone kind of really pulls something amazing off. So I think to close the show off, I think it's pretty good for folks to remember nobody was talking about Atari. But then again, nobody was talking about Soldier Boy either uh, until this happened. 
but most importantly, nobody's talking about Hanson, and we need to keep it that way. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks, everybody.